Well, hi. 2023 marks the release of the long anticipated Fast X, sorry, Swift X. And this time it's about AMD. Hello guys, it's Talia. The Swift X is back again after its initial release at CES this January, but now with a 16 inch OLED screen, AMD H processors up to a Ryzen 9 and a discrete 4050. This looks really good. So the Swift keeps its name by being easily portable at 1.9 kilograms and 18 millimeters thin. I guess it's not like the lightest of the light, but for a creator focused laptop packing major specifications, that's my kind of compromise, <laughs> I don't mind. I love the design, it's clean, stripped back, and it has an all metal chassis with like a soft matte finish to it, which comes from being sandblasted and anodized. Really random, but I like the design on the hinge. <laughs> I'm sure there are more important things, but this stands out to me because it has really seamless edges and kind of an angular design to it. It's different, I like it. Similarly, around the front area, the front, <laughs> there's a recess that stretches all the way through the length of the laptop for that easy one-hand opening. Look. That's nice. Also, sorry, I will get into the specifications, but look at the size of this trackpad. I've never seen anything like it. That takes a biscuit. That takes the whole jar of biscuits. That is <laughs> insane. And it still doesn't manage to get in the way when you're typing because what they've done is I think put the keyboard higher up. That's my theory. So it doesn't interfere. And as an eco-friendly touch, it's coated with ocean recycled plastics. So you get to feel good. And also it feels really good. It's very smooth glass-like. I love the size of it, I'm not gonna lie. This laptop is aimed at creative work and being able to take it on the go. So if you're doing that, by the time you start packing peripherals, it gets a little bit less backpack friendly. So this just makes sense. On that same note, battery life is up to 10 hours with video playback using a 76 watt hour battery. So powerful stuff. And it has a great selection of ports with HDMI 2.1, a micro SD card reader, and two USB type C's with 100 watts of power delivery. So you can even charge your filming stuff while you're out. Design aside, the screen is really the first thing you notice with the Swift X it is so nice. It's a 16 inch 16 by 10 display with an OLED panel and it feels pretty roomy because of this extra inch of height. The colors just pop. It has a 3.2K resolution with amazing color coverage, 100% of DCI P3. This is just made for any photo or video editing. Plus it's certified display HDR 500, really bright screen, amazing contrast. And as a little bonus, it has a great 120 Hertz refresh rate and a 0.2 of a millisecond response time for incredibly smooth motion. This is gonna be really useful if you're video editing and it also gives you the option to game on it, which, with a discrete GPU, why not? Inside is NVIDIA's 4050 with studio drivers for extra stability and performance in any creative work with gorgeous ray tracing and AI acceleration. And that's with AMD's Ryzen H series processors, their high performance chip with up to eight cores. Or their HS processors, still octa-core but with less of a power draw, so better on battery life. Really it's up to you, both are super speedy for rendering and creative workloads. And that's with 16 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and up to two terabytes of PCIe Gen 4 SSD. It's really, it's really good to see a creator focused laptop with AMD because you're still getting that high performance without a crazy high price tag. I like that. And you're still getting the latest GPU from Nvidia, an OLED panel and a 3.2K resolution. I'm gonna add the updated prices here and I think this is gonna be really hard to beat. Sorry. <laughs> also, my editing laptop is heavy as all hell. So I really wanna swap it out for this one. Maybe if I just steal it. <laughs> Let me know what you think of the Swift X with AMD down below. And let me know if you'd like to see any benchmarking when I get a proper release sample. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.